Now I've been taking bromelain in the interest of science and for my own eye floaters for about the past three months now. In this video, I'm going to bring you my observations and updates on whether bromelain has the potential to improve your vitreous eye floaters over a relatively short space of time. Hey, I'm optometrist Martin Guzzi and this is Martin's Eye Tips. If you are new here, then uh, please hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell as well to be notified every time I release a new video designed to help you see better, see more comfortably and be less anxious about your eyes. So this is a quick update video on my previous video on bromelain. So I'm not gonna repeat uh, why I'm even trying bromelain in the first place. So if you haven't checked out any of the videos on bromelain for vitreous eye floaters, then I recommend you check out uh, this uh, video here the top corner um, as the best way and the best place to catch up. So after my first update video, um, I managed to get through most of the first bottle of bromelain, uh, taking just one capsule per month. Um, I didn't experience much in the way of change um, and I then went on to increase my intake to two capsules per day. Uh, and I typically take um, both capsules the first thing in the morning. So I had to get another bottle and I've managed to get through um, all two bottles now in that space of time. So has it made much difference? Well, in short, my floaters are still very much there in both eyes so from that point of view um, it hasn't really helped however one thing that I have noticed and I think it was quite an obvious observation was that my floaters appear to be moving a lot more now than they were before and this might suggest that my vitreous has now become more fluid than it has been before so is this a good or a bad thing well ordinarily I suggest that it was more of a bad thing as um, it could suggest that my vitreous is breaking down more resulting in more movement and uh, potentially could mean that there is more of a, a risk of developing more floaters added to the ones already have. Now, of course, I can't say um, with any certainty if this is uh, if this increase in, in movement is due to bromelain or just something that would have happened by chance anyway. Um, and by the way, here is a drawing that I made um, of what my floaters look like. So here's the right eye. And here is what the left eye looks like. So with both eyes superimposed on top of each other, this is what they look like together. Now my floaters are without a doubt annoying um, for sure, but I can certainly live with my floaters as long as they don't get any worse than they are now. And that's certainly something that I'm keen to prevent if I can't get rid of the floaters altogether. So it's worth noting that most people who um, I've been in contact with that report that they benefited from bromelain have reported uh, two key things to me. So firstly, the fact that their floaters were still very much uh, present after using bromelain, but the difference came from the fact that their floaters, uh, which were previously very dark and dense, had uh, tended to become more uh, transparent and a lot easier to live with. So secondly, they also reported that they had been taking bromelain for some time uh, um, before seeing results. And uh, the suggestion typically was that I'd need to give it about a year of use um, before I could reasonably expect to see some of the main benefits of bromelain. So in short, it may be that uh, this increase in movement of floaters in my eyes um, may be an early sign that bromelain is starting to do something. But on the other hand, it could quite as easily be um, an indication that bromelain isn't doing anything to my floaters at all. So I'd be uh, interested to know what your thoughts are on this and if you want me to carry on taking bromelain and um, to continue the experiment on further for a further few months, uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this and uh, whether you think I should carry on or not. Or if you perhaps feel sorry for me and you think that I should uh, stop wasting my time with bromelain and perhaps try something else. So either way, let me know in the comment section below and I'll decide whether I will continue with bromelain or or perhaps look for something else to try. So that's just a quick update that um, I wanted to share with you all. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, for further updates on uh, floaters and uh, certainly be bringing more floater content to you, uh, particularly along the lines of uh, research and things that are coming up as far as treating floaters are concerned. So uh, uh, please hit the subscribe button for more updates on that and the notification bell as well. And uh, also liking this video really helps the channel out as well. Uh, until the next video, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Take care.